All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to use the Samify uh, piece with the domain control. So we're just going to make sure see how to Samify users. If if you've got a problem, so in the say in the uh, install, you came across the part where it's Samifying objects. You ha you hit uh, an object that caused a failure, and uh, you're not sure if all the objects got Samified. You can use the domain control to, to go in back and make sure that all the objects are samified. So let's first get our ticket. So if we do the k init administrator. And remember, if we log in, we're successful. And we are. And we again, we can always look at the k list to make sure that we've got our principal here, the krb principal. It's all listed there. So we're, we're good. So now if we use the domain control, and if we do dash dash help, we'll get our, or if we just do type domain control, we'll get our our options. Uh, the uh, I guess the D is like a debug if you want to enable debugging, and a a O is like the output log. So and if we use like the dash A, that's for I get, uh, for a remote domain uh, that uh, if we want to administer. So if we did like a dash dash list da, dash a and specified another domain we could um, list the information on that domain as well so that's what the d dash a is so uh, dash f is forced output log debug output log debug and then doing an extended um, another domain so um, not uh, usually you don't, you don't need to use those uh, uh, extensions unless you really really wanting to do it <laughs> so let's do the domain control dash dash list we can see what we have we have uh, all the objects in the O B and C are part of it so let's let's just do a uh, samify and we can we get the option to pick the container so again, we had a problem during the install. During the install, we did the O and the B. We're not sure if they all got it, got uh, partition or got uh, samified. So we'll just go through and make sure. And this is it. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. There we go. And we'll do it again for number two. That's it. There, there is this option for a desamify. Desamify is when uh, it will only show uh, object or partitions that are not part of the domain. So let's uh, sam desamify. So if we do this, so samify desamify. So you can see D and E are not part of the domain. We want to make sure that these objects are desamified. Say they were and they were removed. When they're removed, the desamify is kicked off. But you're not sure. So let's just do, say, one. And this is going to make sure that the, all the objects in D are desamified. And that's it. So samify, desamify, that's it. Uh, preps, we, we're not going to worry about preps. But uh, we'll do another video on uh, doing a remove. But that's our video on doing uh, domain control samify and desamify.